name is Nancy, and I'm one of the volunteers on um, the Calgary Fort Electoral District Association. And our job is to get GC, jo Josie C elected. <laughs> Josie C elected in the next election. When we told her that we wanted to um, do this party for him to kind of do a volunteer appreciation and round up folks who are going to support him in the next election on his birthday, he said, okay, but no gifts. But uh, we're giving you a gift. And what we've asked everyone here to do is um, volunteer a little bit of their time. They give you the gift of time. And when we were having our meetings and deciding how much time we should ask of people, we have well, one for every year, but you know, people are busy. So we ask for one for every decade. And so people who have signed this card are giving you just about six hours of their time over the next year. And Alberta, where's Alberta? Made you this gorgeous card. And if you look at it, it has happy birthday in notes and you note the orange tulips as well. You hold on to that. Thanks. Thank you very much, Alberta, for the lovely card, and everyone uh, for coming out to my birthday party. <laughs> my birthday party. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday. Uh, what? Happy birthday. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Happy birthday. That, that was the shortened version, I think. <laughs> uh, it's, thank you. Thank you very much. I uh, want to say thank you for all of this to all of the folks who helped organize. And I'm, I've got that right back here, and I'm going to tell, um, tell you who they are in a second. But my uh, constituent association, when they, as Nancy said, when they... Uh, they said, Joe, would you be okay with a little birthday party to get folks together, have a friend raise it? And I said, absolutely. I can't wait to get together with so many uh, wonderful friends who were on the doors with me, who uh, were in the, the campaign office, who contributed uh, financial resources and money, who just uh, provided so much support during the campaign. And we all together did such a wonderful job along with, of course, Rachel Notley and the other members of uh, the uh, who are running, and one of them is right back there. His name's Brian Malkison. He's uh, the MLA for Calgary. Curry, thank you for coming, Brian. Um, you know, with you and some other people here that I was uh, on city council with, we almost have a quorum of <laughs> of city council, uh, not of uh, of the ledge, but um, I just want to. Uh, before I forget, I want to say, and she was just here, I don't know where she went, my wife, Chris Cece. Uh, she was just sitting right there in that white chair. There she is. Where's she gone? <laughs> Chris, come on back. <laughs> don't run away. Chris has been, uh, uh, and sometimes when I've, I've done these sorts of things, I've forgotten to mention her, and, and it's a total total goof, but I've had people come up behind me and say, you know, while well, I was speaking, you forgot to mention Chris. So I'm going to do it right now. Thank you, Chris. She's been my campaign manager, my partner, um, and is way better at this politics stuff than I am. Um, Chris sees where is she going? <laughs> Thank you all of you for coming out and spending a little bit of time. Sophie over there. Um, all of you coming out and spending a little bit of time at this friend raiser. And the intent is to just get together and to kind of remember uh, and relish in the fact that uh, uh, the New Democratic Party are government and we have a majority and we are changing Alberta and we will continue to work to change Alberta for the better for all of us and not for uh, some of the interests that were <coughs> successful with previous governments and, and getting their work done for them. Um, I, uh, of 
course, uh, am excited to, uh, have, having come from the city of Calgary, having been a city worker uh, on city council, um, I've worked with so many great leaders and uh, two great mayors, Al Dewar is here. Uh, he was a mayor in very difficult times. Um, thank you for coming on, Kit uh, You know, the, the times when Al was a mayor, we had to do a lot with very little and he led us through some uh, pretty austere times when the city had to uh, become more efficient, more effective, and it was growing a lot, and we just didn't have the, uh, the financial capability to do a lot of things, but Al helped us uh, navigate all of that. And uh, there's John, John Mars beside him, he's on with John on council, and Bob Hawksworth is here, and Gord Lowe is here. Um, these, these gentlemen were, uh, stellar in their own right uh, on council for a lot of years and, and provide a lot of support. Another mayor I worked with, and I don't know why I'm talking about mayors, but I'm talking about leaders, and I'm going to eventually get to Rachel. That's how I'm building up to this. <laughs> uh, Dave Brancagne uh, took over in 2003 terms with him, and uh, he was uh, uh, a leader who had a really great vision for how Calgary could build out and uh, spent a lot of um, time working with all of us to make sure that we address the, the needs that were unable to be addressed uh, in earlier times. So the current leader I work with though, is Rachel Notley and she's a, <laughs> and she is uh, much like Al and Dave, uh, she has uh, got a vision for where things are going. She is strong, she brings her caucus together uh, to work hard uh, for Albertans all across this province, and she is fearless uh, in the face of so many people who uh, believe that we're not on the right track. Rachel tells us we are on the right track. Stick to the program, stick together, and uh, I'm so pleased to be her finance minister and to uh, represent Calgary Fort in the, uh, the, the, the legislature. I, uh, Just a few of the things. I was telling somebody earlier that the fall session, our first set, uh, the spring session, we um, we brought the first spring session, 2005, 2015, sorry, um, May. We changed, uh, of course, with the election. We brought in progressive taxes for this province, uh, something that no other no other province had uh, a flat tax. We had had one for far too long. We changed that immediately. We changed the corporate income tax level amount from 10% to 12%, and the corporate taxes, uh, the progressive taxes. We have worked hard to pass 21 bills um, in the fall session, and another 16 in this in this re most recent session. And we have a full legislative agenda for the next session when we go back in October. Uh, so. <laughs> Rachel would say, we are governing the shit out of this province. <laughs> <laughs> and she may not say shit, <laughs> but she would say we're governing a lot <laughs> in this province. Uh, so that's one of the things that the opposition typically will say is, you know, you're going too fast. And we, we just look at them and say, well, the previous government did nothing for 44 years. So we're, it, it may seem fast uh, relative to what they did, but we're government. Um, some of the things that we've done really quickly, I'll just read a few of them. Canada Pension Plan enhancements, so we are going to make sure that people when they retire have better retirement incomes. Uh, we're protecting the environment, the Castle region uh, got protected. Climate Leadership Plan is ongoing right now, that's brought in. Stabilizing health care and education, we did not done that. Investments in infrastructure including flood mitigation for river communities, that's really important. We've increased the minimum wage to $15 by 2018. Uh, there's been support for, this is my favorite one of late, craft brewers. <laughs> <laughs> I get to go, now I get to go around the province to all the craft breweries. <laughs> I, you know, life's tough, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> um, as you all know, we, we have not uh, followed the austerity plan of previous governments. Uh, believing that we need to invest now 
in this province to set us up for when the economy recovers and putting uh, investments across this province, uh, the largest um, $34.5 billion over five years, will put Albertans back to work, will put companies to work, will ensure that uh, uh, those who are uh, working in all sorts of places across this province continue to get paychecks through their companies because of the, uh, the different things that are getting built um, uh, in this province. Always with an eye to the efficient use of tax dollars, of course. Um, I want to recognize the people who 